Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you the new statistics dashboard inside the social media planner. It's very exciting to now be able to access any sort of statistics really where your demographics is located, the age, how many likes your last posts have generated, how much engagement and so on and so forth so that you can take an educated decision based on data if you want to allocate more budget on content creation on Instagram, for example, or on Facebook or on any other platform. Let me show you where you can see this. So you can access all your stats by clicking on marketing on the left, social planner at the top, and then click on the statistics tab right here. Now on the side here, you can see, you can select all social media statistics, or you can just select Facebook or just Instagram. For now, you can see those social media platforms are grayed out, but they are coming soon. So don't worry. Let's talk about Facebook and Instagram for now. So let's start at the top. Here you can see the number of posts, so total likes, total followers, total impressions, and the total comments. Please note that the number of posts, for example, four, is across all selected Instagram accounts. So here on the left, you can click this drop down menu and you can select or deselect all the accounts you would like to see the stats for. So here you can either select all or you can deselect all and then just select one Facebook page or just select one Instagram page, for example. Now here you can see the social post performance in an interactive graph, which is really cool. Meaning you can just hover over it and it will show you in the different days. Thursday, for example, we got 31 impressions on our posts, okay? Now here on the right, you can see this is for Instagram, okay? So this graph shows you impressions, likes, and comments. And then you can just hover over the entire graph and see your different statistics for the entire week. On the left here, you can see number of posts. You can see that we posted two times on Thursday and two times on Wednesday, and we got this kind of engagement, okay? Also, if you hover over this little information icon next to each of those statistics, you will get an in-depth explanation to remind you what does this actually mean. So the bar graph here means the number of posts, and if you have a back on the information icon, you can see the line graph, these ones, the pink one and the yellow one and the little red one here. That is the total number of interactions, meaning comments, likes, shares per day, regardless of when the posts were published. Okay. Scrolling further down, you can see the number of posts. Again, if you hover over this little information icon, you get more in-depth explanation. And remember, this all shows the weekly engagement and this the 300% up is compared to the previous seven days. Okay. So here on Instagram, we posted four times, which means we had an increase of posts of 300% compared to the previous seven days, right? Scrolling further down, you can see the tablet chart engagement. If you hover over this information icon again, an in-depth explanation what it is. It's the unique numbers of likes, comments, shares received by posts published. Okay. Then the engagement percentage reflects the change in this week's data compared to the previous week. Again, same like we have here up in the post. Okay. So for Instagram, we got seven likes, which is an increase of 16.67%. Scrolling further down, you get the impressions. Impressions means the post was just shown to somebody on the screen. It doesn't necessarily mean they clicked on the link to read your post. If it was a blog post, for example, that you shared, they didn't engage, they didn't like, they didn't comment. Impression simply means they just simply saw it even when they just scrolled past it, okay? So on this account, there were this week 64 impressions, which is a decrease by 42.34% compared to the previous seven days, okay? You can see again here on the side, the numbers outlined in a table chart. And again, the create our social media accounts will come very soon. Okay. Further down, we have exactly the same thing. And this is for the post reach. So post reach means the post reached the people who interacted with your page before. This can be check-ins, this can be social posts or normal posts as well. And this week it has dropped by 63.96% compared to the previous seven days. Scrolling further down, you can see the top performing posts. Again, there's a little information icon. The top performing posts refer to the post with the highest number of likes among published social posts from the social planner, okay? This is lifetime. This is not per week like any other stats I've just talked about. So here we go. This little WhatsApp message reel is at the top of the performing posts ranking because it's got two likes and it has more reach. It's got one comment. You can even click on the little visibility icon and then it will open up the reel. Okay. All right. Moving back here on the side, you can see the little social platform. This was an Instagram post. Then we also published on TikTok and on Facebook. And further down here, very interesting. 
you can see the engagement statistics. We have the stack bar and a line graph, okay? So hover over this little information icon and see the line chart will show you the impressions, followers and likes at a daily level and the platform card will show you at a weekly total, okay? So at the top here, you can click between those tabs as well. Total impressions, total followers and then total likes as well. Crawling further down, I like this one very much to get a lot of insight on who is actually the person behind the screen who is watching your content. Hover over this little information icon. The gender demographics show distribution of gender male and female. For Facebook, gender demographic is not available, okay? For Instagram, you have to have 100 followers in order to access this data. And the platform is only able to pull the data if the user has shared this kind of data with the respective social media platforms, all right? This is also, again, shot on a weekly basis. And also, please note, you will receive real-time alerts when your pages are required to reconnect again when a token has expired. So please make sure once you get that notification that you go and click a few buttons and reconnect all your pages so that you can have access to real-time data. I hope you like this new feature, which will help you take educated decisions on where to allocate marketing budget next. I will see you in the next video.